the Hawks Gay Saltwater Game. Presented by Yellowfin. Only in a Yellowfin. Mangrove shorelines throughout Florida are one of the most productive areas to fish. What it takes in the mangroves is covering a lot of ground to find out where the fish are. There are countless miles of mangrove shorelines throughout the state of Florida, but that doesn't mean there's fish in every bit of that. Finding out where the fish are is half the battle. In order to find areas that are highly productive, it's imperative to have a trolling motor installed on your boat. A trolling motor allows two people to stand on the deck and use two sets of eyes to look into the mangrove shoreline and actually see the fish that are there. There you go. Okay. See him? Yeah. Just drop it in there and you're good to go. There he is. Good job. Got him. The good high thrust trolling motor, you can cover miles of mangrove shoreline looking for the fish in the water or casting and trying to find out where they are. In a lot of the situations here in the Keys, we have clear water. So we can actually, without even fishing, we can just run that trolling motor on high, cover lots of ground, and find that most productive area. He's looking, he's looking right at the surface, right at the surface. Bam! Oh, nice, good work. Nice yes. job. How about that? That's so cool. Almost any that? mangrove shoreline Whoa. has the potential to hold snook, tarpon, redfish, and goliath grouper. These fish will hang around the mangroves because it's an excellent spot to ambush any small fish that lives there. With a trolling motor and a live well full of pilchards, throw a few pilchards here or there, and you're gonna see these fish being attacked by the bigger predator fish that are there. And once you see what kind of fish are there, you may be able to catch them on that trip, but if you can't, you can come back, be better prepared, and know exactly where they are. Once we find an area that has those fish, it's real simple to just come back around with the trolling motor and fish it effectively. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a big, big red fish. Oh my gosh, big red fish. He was trying his best to get you back in those trees. You know? Wow, that was cool. It's almost like the equivalent of bottom fishing for the offshore guys because you just don't know what you're going to get. Covering ground with the trolling motor around the mangrove shorelines, finding out where the fish are, then chumming with that live bait, you're going to catch a lot of fish in a lot of different situations. Good call, man. Good call coming down the mangroves.